Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean and today we're going to look at a new feature. Uh, it's actually the first part of uh, a lot of new features. Uh, they're all kind of similar. They are CSS based uh, text lists that uh, we will stylize for you to behave as uh, vertical navigation bars or vertical navigation menus uh, and horizontal menus. Um, as you know, uh, PSD to CSS Online has a number of uh, dynamic menu uh, features. Um, most of, all of them up until now are graphic or graphic based and you need to type your text in yourself and uh, you need to, well you use Photoshop to, to manipulate them and design them. Um, some people like to make their menus out of just plain uh, unordered lists, CSS, uh, HTML unordered lists, and stylize them so that they have mouse over events and hover events. And uh, and I'm going to show you, now we have uh, features now that uh, uh, you can build those yourself uh, by just drawing a box in Photoshop, calling it a particular kind of list, and uh, we'll write all the code and even um, even give you a some uh, dummy data in a, uh, uh, in a list for you. So let me show you how we do that. First, for PSD to, anything in PSD to CSS Online, you start with a Photoshop design of your website. And uh, as always, that all the tricks, all the special features are all about how you name the layers in your Photoshop file. So in this case, um, we've got uh, an example demonstration here of a, uh, of a design. What I want to show up in this kind of lighter gray box right here is a, uh, is a menu, a, a navigation menu. I want a number of items to, to be able to choose from here. I want, uh, I want them to be listed vertically, and I want when my mouse rolls over each one, I want them to highlight. Um, so what I've got is just a, a layer that has the, the size and the width that I'd like this menu to show up. And over here, the important part is how I name that layer. And I've named it with VList1. So this is a vertical list. Uh, it's the first one that, that we've designed. Uh, there'll be a, there aren't yet, but there will be VList2 and VList3 and VList4. Uh, VList1 is the first one. Uh, but this is all I have to do. I've got a design for Photoshop. I name that one layer VList1. And I go ahead and save save the Photoshop file. I go to PSD to CSS Online. I upload the file. And right now, uh, PSD to CSS Online is taking apart that Photoshop file. It's taking all the layers apart. It's uh, reading all the names of the layers and generating code, um, JavaScript or CSS or whatever is required based on the, the various layer names, that uh, special layer names that are in there. Um, it's using, uh, in most cases, the image that was there for each layer uh, oh, oops, done. Uh, to gen help generate the, the code. Um, so first we can uh, just take a look at exactly what was generated so far. Um, I hosted for you here uh, for a 24-hour uh, period so that you can get a feel for how it looks. Um, and as you see, where that uh, light gray box was, now I have um, five items in a nav bar. It, uh, it's exactly the width that I had designed. Um, the items are just dummy information and, and dummy links. Um, but, uh, but it generated that code for us. Uh, I'll go back and show you the Photoshop file for a moment. moment. You can also embed these, uh, these uh, lists in, uh, inside the menu items that are already features at PST to CSS Online. So here's a button called Menu, and uh, we call it M-Link. And as you can see right here, I've got another layer called M underscore, and there's an underscore menu here, and because it's M, this M uh, in the front matches this M here, this will be a menu that will open when you click on this link. But as you can see, this menu also has VList1. So here's the gray box for this menu. And uh, here's the code, that, here's the page that was generated. And sure enough, when we click on that, we get a nice drop down animated menu uh, that, uh, that works exactly the way that we designed it. So uh, now what I'm going to do is download this, uh, the, P the zip file that has all this code and show you real quickly how to, to modify this list so that it, uh, it's something other than just item one, item two, item three. So let's see, we'll go back to the page that this is where we made it. We download the zip file, it saves it to our hard drive. We'll just extract it here. Now what I'll do is go into, uh, this is, let's see, I hope you can read that. Uh, we'll, 
I'm already, let's see, I'm already at the desktop. We'll go into uh, this folder, PSD to CSS. There's all the code that was generated. We'll edit the index file. So this is the index file that was generated. With all the comments about what we're doing. I can search for vlist1, and there it shows you, shows you, it brings me right to it, and here you see item 1, item 2, item 3, but it's very clear and easy. It's a very, it's a regular HTML unordered list, and here are each of the list items. I put uh, hrefs in for you already. There are links already that you can change to something, so all I need to do is change this to someplace I might want to point at, google.com, say, and I'll change what's inside here to Google. Let's change this one to be uh, http colon slash slash facebook.com facebook there so I just changed two of them and uh, now we'll go ahead and we'll look and see what it looks like just serving right straight from my my desktop but there you go you see uh, now now the menu is starting to make some sense when I click on Google sure enough it goes to Google and if I click on Facebook Sure enough, it goes to Facebook. So there you go. That's how easy it is to get a very nice and professional uh, uh, list um, by just uh, drawing it in Photoshop and having it uh, and having it generated for you. Actually, before I go, you know what? I'll show you one more thing. Let's uh, think about changing some of the colors for these. Suppose we don't want blue. Uh, what we'll do is go back to the. Here, let's see, make this centered. We'll go back to uh, to where the code is. And we will edit the PSD to CSS.CSS file that's generated. And let's see, look for VList1 again. Here we go, we named this layer VList1. And here's some information about its layer 3. But down here, as we go down, this, there's more layer 3 stuff about fonts and uh, margins but uh, and, and the colors. So as you can see, we've got colors to change here. So I'll find the background color and change it from 036 to say, let's make it bright red, F00. There we go. We'll go back and we'll reload this. And there we go. So it's just a matter of, uh, of figuring out what you want to change the color of and, and changing it in that CSS file. Um, you can use Firebug for that. It's pretty helpful. If you use Firebug and open it up, choose uh, this button here is Inspect, and uh, point to what you want to uh, to inspect. And you can see how the colors are set over here. It'll even tell you where in the PSD to CSS file that uh, the CSS you want to change to make that change. Here's our here's the red that we just added. Here's the EEE. -E -E, that's the color of the uh, of the uh, text. But uh, but that's the basic gist of it. You draw the uh, box where you want your li list to show up, call it vlist1, underscore vlist1, and uh, convert it to p at PSD to CSS Online, and you'll have uh, all the code generated for you. Thanks.